Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's not going to be fashion or anything like that, but I am going to be talking about one of my gifts that I got for Valentine's Day. Um, and just kind of like a small unboxing slash kind of sort of review um, of that particular item. So the thing that I am talking about is a teapot from Royal Albert. Um, so I have a few of their items in my um, collection already. Um, I've already purchased a little teacup and a few, I think it's their salad plates is what I have. Um, but recently I have become more of a tea drinker, which is really strange because um, typically I would have only drink coffee. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I even put coffee in my teacup, I know strange but I still do it anyways um, I will say from those items I really like the quality um, of their items and I mean I felt pretty comfortable making this purchase um, but I know sometimes you know when you spend a couple hundred dollars on something it's like ooh, that's a lot of money like is it worth the price whereas if you're only spending like you know 30 or 40 it, you're more willing to take that chance and it's not as big of a deal if it doesn't end up working out so I will say um, for the teapot that I got um, it does retail for um, I believe it is $200 on Macy's um, which is where we purchased it from um, and the name of the collection is called um, confetti rose actually scratch that last statement I just checked it is rose confetti um, but I think it is just the cutest little print um, and we've already used it once um, my husband actually bought it for me for Valentine's Day and we used it that morning um, he put a pot of coffee in it and we had some coffee and some scones um, and he had actually pulled off the teacups and the salad plates that I already own and we used that for a little little date morning kind of thing for Valentine's Day um, but without further ado I'll go ahead and show you guys what we purchased all right guys so this is the box that it comes in um, my husband said that when it got shipped it came in a huge ginormous box and it was packed really really well um but he said it was a ginormous box he was like oh my gosh how am i gonna hide this from her so i think he ended up taking it out um, of that box and just storing this one um that you can kind of keep with it because this is a fairly sturdy box um so yeah this is what it comes with um so you can kind of see here let me try to open it all right so on the inside we do have the teapot and it comes with a lid um, and you can kind of see here it does have this little string bit um, to help keep these um, little pieces in place so when they're shipping they don't fall out all over the place. Um, you do get a sugar dish and again that comes with a lid. It also has that little string so it doesn't fall out and then you get a little creamer dish which is so super cute um but yeah this whole bottom part is just nothing but foam so it is well protected so if you're concerned about shipping or anything like that um it shouldn't nothing should happen because it's really packed really really well in here and then also like i said we ordered ours from macy's and they did a really great job packing this box inside of another box <laughs> Um, but you can also see the lid here too. It just has like this huge piece of foam to kind of keep anything from wiggling around in there. Um, so just to kind of talk about the teapot um, and all these little china pieces for just a second. Um, so it is bone china. Um, it does say that on the website, but I don't believe it says that on the items itself um, but it does claim to be bone china and I will say it feels fairly sturdy um, it is quite thin um, but kind of a random story <laughs> when my husband and I were getting married and um, we were setting up our wedding registries we went to I believe it was Bed Bath & Beyond and when we were having our 
I guess you'd call it like a little meeting that they make you do. Um, and they just kind of go over some of the things that they think you'll need um, when you're first getting married. And they were really trying to sell us on China. They were like, oh, it's so sturdy, even though it feels so um, delicate. Um, and this lady <laughs> took a teacup and turned it upside down. And she asked my husband, she's like, hey, can you, can you stand on this just to prove how sturdy it is? And my husband really did not want to, um, but she was like, we can be here all day. <laughs> um, but yeah, my husband ended up standing on it and it was actually really, really sturdy. Um, and it did not break or anything like that. So, um, moral of the story, it's, it's actually pretty sturdy. Um, you don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay guys. So I did take a quick look at the website. Um, Turns out I was wrong. It is not $200, it is $225. Um, I did um, ask my husband to wait until they had it on sale. I think he ended up paying about $140 for it. Um, but just keep your eye on that website. A lot of times um, these do go on sale, at least through Macy's, I can say that. Um, but yeah, $225 is pretty steep, but if you're a tea drinker, and a coffee, or I mean, sorry, a teapot, um, has something, is something, my goodness, am I okay? <laughs> um, but if it's in something that's on your list and you want it, like, I, I think it's definitely worth it, um, but $225 is quite expensive, um, but yeah, like I said, wait for that sale. Um, I did want, I did want to say, too, that when I was looking on the website, it looks like it only says that it's dishwasher safe. So I'm throwing it out there um, that you can put it in your dishwasher. I personally don't. I just want to make sure like I'm taking care of it um, and just making sure it lasts as long as it possibly can. I'm afraid my dishwasher might eat it. Um, but it does not say anything about being microwave safe. Um, so personally, if you want this to last, I would say don't put it in your microwave. <laughs> if you want it to last, do not put it in your microwave. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise I think it's really cute, really pretty. And I will try to, um, throw in some footage of us maybe using it or just, you know, set it out, styled up, make it look all pretty. All right, so I hope those last few clips, you were able to see a little bit more of the detail that's in the teapot and the creamer um, and the sugar dish, um, just because the print is super duper pretty and you can see some of the gold detailing that's on it. Um, and hopefully you were able to see some of the scalloped edges um, on the teapot. That was kind of a surprise to me. I did not know that it was going um, to look like that until I got it, but honestly, I like it even more knowing that it does have it. So kind of my overall thoughts on everything. I feel like the print is absolutely adorable and there's a few more items in the collection that I am wanting to pick up and actually just buying this is actually 
made it for certain in my mind that I am going to be buying those and they will be in my collection. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as like sturdiness, I haven't had any issues with it. I have only had the teapot um, for just a few days, but we've used it a few times and nothing feels weird or like it's not quality or anything like that. Um, I will say I have had the teacup for a couple of months now and again like no issues at all I feel like it's great quality um, I have not washed it in the dishwasher or anything like that I think I said it earlier I'm just hand washing everything because I do want this um, to be in my collection I want it to last for a really long time you know and if we ever have kids maybe they'll want it and they'll yeah we can pass it down to them eventually <laughs> um, as far as price goes I don't know if 225 is a great price I personally don't think I would pay that um, which is why I didn't for a really long time um, but once we saw it go on sale um, my husband snagged it yeah so I don't think I would pay full price for it um, but that's just me and my budget and things like that I think it's definitely worth 225 but um, just as far as what I'm willing to pay for things I would say no um, but it is definitely a quality piece I don't know if that made any sense did that make sense what I'm trying to say is like it's definitely worth 225 but if that's not in your price range just wait and it will go on sale I think that made more sense <laughs> yeah as far as packaging and shipping goes I can't really speak to how quickly it came um, I'd have to ask my husband on that one because he made it a little surprise and I wasn't supposed to know about it. Um, so I'd have to ask him, but I, I would imagine it didn't take them very long. When I ordered my teacup from them, um, and this was like during Black Friday, so it may have even taken longer then, um, but it maybe it took about a week. I don't exactly remember, but I know it wasn't long. Um, but as far as it being packaged well, yes, 100%. Um, I think they did a really great job, not only just the package that it was shipped in, but kind of Royal Albert as a brand, making sure that if something were to be shipped in this box, that it would not arrive damaged. So you can rest assured there that it will arrive safely. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Um, if you still have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down below and I will get back um, to you in the comments. Um, if you did like the video, go ahead and like it for me. Um, and then if you enjoy this type of content, um, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do try to make two videos a week, um, one on Wednesday and then one on Sunday, and they typically go up around 9 a.m. Um, so if you're interested, and watching me definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button but otherwise guys i really hope you guys have a great day um and then i will see you next time